Hey, what's up guys? John here. Hope you're having a great day. And in today's lesson, just wanted to do a quick lick lesson today in the style of Chet Atkins. This is a Chet Atkins ending in the key of C, and it's a great ending to work on your pull-offs. You're gonna see why when I break it down, it's just a bunch of pull-offs. And we've talked about endings before, whether they're like blues endings. I did a video just on like five blues endings that you can use and drop in at the end of a song so you can have a strong ending. So here's a little bit of a Chet Atkins tune, Bye Bye Blackbird. This is the end of it, and I'll just throw this lick on at the end. Here's what it sounds like. So you're starting out on a C chord here, and what you do is you pinch. I'm gonna pinch the A, the G, and the B strings on the first beat. And then you're gonna take your third finger and go to the third fret of the B string and go three, two, one. And you pluck that once, but you do a double pull off. Then you go to the G string and play three, two, open. Again, another double pull off, so one pluck, but you're getting three notes there. Then you go to the D string and do the same thing, three, two, zero. So we've got three, two, one, three, two, zero, three, two, zero. Then we play the root note, C, the third fret of the A string, then the third fret of the E string, which is the note G, and then you play a C chord. I like C over G, which is a C shape where you bring your third finger up one string and put your pinky on on the A string. It's a really strong sounding C chord. So you got C, and up to speed with the ending. That's all for today. Make sure you subscribe for new lessons dropping every day on the channel. If you're interested in a free PDF all about soloing, check it out in the link below. We'll see you in another one real soon.